Michelle, Texas has lost to Baylor 11 straight times, but for the first time since 2004, the Longhorns enter Sunday's matchup ranked ahead of the Bears. Who has the edge in this top six matchup? I think Texas probably does for a couple of reasons. One, I feel like their chemistry has come together really well, and I think that's going to help them. I'm not saying Baylor has bad chemistry because I, I think theirs is good too. I just think Texas might be a little bit ahead of Baylor in that department right now. And I also think being at home is going to be uh, an advantage for the Longhorns. It's going to be, uh, I think, probably a really nice-sized crowd, and people across the country are interested in this one because, as you mentioned, this is a, this is a big top-ten matchup, and it's really the first time in a while that I think people are going to look at this Texas team and, and think this could be a Final Four contender. Yeah, I was going to ask you, how does this Texas-Baylor rivalry stack up to some of the other bigger rivalries in women's basketball across the nation? Well, you know, when it's, it's been a little one-sided in the last several years with Baylor winning 11 in a row, and as we know, if you go way back in history, it was the opposite. It was Texas was dominant. But I think what's really going to be great for women's basketball is to have a rivalry like this really have an intensity to it. These are just two programs that women's basketball needs to both be good. It's another matchup of teacher versus pupil. Texas head coach Karen Aston, a former Kim Mulkey assistant. What would a win in this contest on Sunday mean for Karen Aston? I think it would mean a lot to her because she really understands how important it is, it is for, to, to beat a team like Baylor that has been the dominant team in women's basketball in the Big 12 Conference now for several years. One of the things she told me uh, last night was she's excited that this game is really relevant. And I, I think that, that shows a really understanding of how important it is to have this rivalry with two really good teams. And there's not very many people who know more about these two programs. Obviously, Karen spent so many years um, as a Longhorn assistant and then was an assistant at Baylor. So she really understands the history of both of these programs very well and does know how much it would mean. I think it would mean a lot to her individually, and it would mean a lot to her seniors as well. All right, before we let you go, Michelle, final prediction for Sunday's contest. Uh, I, I do think Texas is going to prevail in this one. I think it's going to be a very close game and ultimately you know, may come down to just how well actually Texas is inside game plays. We know there's a lot of great guards in this game. Can Texas's inside game really prevail? And obviously, Amani Boya, it's going to be the key to that. Look forward to it. Should be a good one. Thanks again, Michelle Vopel from ESPNW.